stuff on the channel is kind of rare and unboxings in general. So I thought I would mix this one a little bit up and uh, I actually picked up a pair of those quite comfort 15s. So let's get let's take a look at what comes in the box and it's just a classic unboxing. So let's get into it. This is the unboxing of the Bose Quiet Comfort 15. So opening up the box, we have a little bit of a hard shell carry case and it is a zipper type so you can reuse this. It's pretty hard shell and can be used a couple of times and when we open it up, the, um, so the first thing we see is a few cables, um, not tied up properly though, I don't know why, why that is. Let's keep that to the side for a second, take a look at what else comes in the box. So we have the headphones itself. So these are pretty hefty headphones, they have nice cushioning on them, it's really soft and nice on the ear. Let's keep these aside for a second so we can take a look at the other contents of the box. So over here we have a little cue card that says Quiet Comfort 15 Acoustic Noise Cancelling Headphones. So this is just like a courtesy card kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so you can give it to some people just to feature the product. So I, I don't know why they give this with the purchase, but whatever I guess. So put that back in here. I don't know what that's for exactly. So um, coming to the other contents of the box, we also have a little pouch here with a AAA battery. It's good that they at least include it because um, always finding for battery is a huge deal. So let's get this thing powered up. And let's test out the song quality and etc. etc. So yeah. So popping in the battery is actually pretty easy. It's on the right side of the air cup so just pull this thing up and it's going to open up a little thing right there uh, you need to face the uh, minus part of the minus or plus I, I don't even know what berries um, okay so the plus side has to go on the bottom so you just uh, snangle this in and close this little thing and your earphones should be ready to just turn on and when you see that green blinking light you know that it is turned on so yeah that is pretty awesome so we are going to test out the sound quality and how it sounds uh, because this is a really uh, premium pair of headphones these are not bluetooth but these are wired and uh, yeah let's test out the sound quality but before that i just forgot uh, let's take a look at these cables so it does come with two pair of cables so the first one is I guess like a 3.5 to um, a 3.5 and a microphone in the middle so it's got a little remote here to uh, play pause etc. It also has a microphone on the back so as you can see there are tiny holes on plastic for microphones. So and the other cable is just a normal 3.5 to another 3. Point, flush 3.5. So this really helps in uh, you know keeping the profile of the headphones low if it's when it's flush so yeah let's test out the sound quality that you get from these earphones or headphones and uh, should be sounding pretty good because these are really premium um, headphones and they also have noise cancelling so these are one of the best pair of headphones you can get for around uh, I, I don't know the price um, I actually ordered this off some sort of a website I don't know uh, what price is it exactly. I'll let uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below if I can find the link. So yeah, let's get uh, rolling with the sound quality tests. Okay, so putting this on here feels pretty good, and the uh, yes, so I guess first impressions. So I'm gonna play some song and check it out how the quality overall, the quality uh, of uh, music is on these headphones but, so these are noise cancelling and I have a really trippy feeling of what's going on outside so okay let's play something animals yeah oh I forgot it on these on pretty good bass Sounds really good though. It's a big update from my previous headphones. I wish you guys, I could give you guys the representation of this quality, but since I can, I'm the only one who can hear this. Not quite possible. So yeah. 
sounds pretty good though so i would give it a good rating in terms of sound quality bass could be a little better but i guess it's fine for a, you know a basic studio editing pair of headphones in terms of volume it's really loud oh my it's going to hurt my hearing so it gets pretty loud and it's pretty clear at that note so it's not blaring at your face with full of volume so yeah the clarity and the you know the richness of the sound is pretty good i would definitely recommend this uh, earphones over any other pair of noise cancelling earphones because overall in terms of noise cancelling bose basically does the best job here so yeah i would definitely recommend these in terms of you know if you're doing stuff like video editing or anything you know this like uh, related to content creation or say just doing music editing what, whatever you like to do these are really good pair of very sound accurate headphones that uh, you can rely on so these do use that uh, 3.5 mm headphone jack and uh, you know um, with the past coming phones here you know you're going to now going to see that really often but uh, you know for professional users this is still a really good pair of headphones anyways guys that is pretty much going to do it for this video uh, let me know on your impressions on this uh, uh, boss uh, what whatever it was called the sound spot I, i don't know the name so yeah whatever it is uh, if you like this video like give it a like down below and subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any new videos this is your apple cpo i'll see you on the next one